do this. Uh, Grove Street, uh, the closure is um, not us. City. It, we do have that authority, but it's not us. Well, I, I think that we concluded on this that Grove Street was still a city street. There was some argument initially when we got into this whether the <coughs> transfer with the public housing authority, the HRA, the park board included the streets or not. I think early on we concluded that Grove Street was still a city street, so they'd have to vacate it. But, but we, we, we have the authority to do that. You have the consent. And we'll we can't vacate it. Uh, we couldn't vacate this street because I, mean, I think the theory is that De La Salle has the other side of the street. Yeah, it's got to be the two okay. adjacent properties. I just, you know, yeah. us, re reading our authority to close the street. We have the authority if it was a part of the street, but we don't, since we don't have De La Salle's okay. land, that's not a street that we maintain. It's a city street that's maintained. Although we paid for to repave it. I mean, at best that I know, the city is still asserting jurisdiction over Grove Street and that they're, it's their street and their vacation. And the council has not taken any no. right. That's and one of our conditions. Gone the recommendation from the fire Right. This, this is one of the conditions proceeding to this agreement is that you all can get the city council to vacate or, or they can get access to Grove Street. And just uh, one thing that I think would be helpful is if we actually talked about the schedule. I mean, because we're entering this major agreement, uh, perhaps, and I would just love to have some conversations. I have no idea when, who's going to be where. I mean, I know there's football, I know, I know there's seasons, but I'm sure that there's at least been some conversation about, you know, summertime. You know, give me a schedule to look at, and but I would... We'd be happy to give a schedule yeah. to look at, but uh, scheduling is typically done by staff. No, no, but I just want to know the bait, you know, Summer, winter, no, no, oh, for you, use, use, you use, you know, yeah, the wind. Get to an, just an idea. I, mean, obviously yeah. I have never seen know. any of that. I don't know <clears throat> how we plan to use it, how we plan to share the use time. Yeah, and I know that it's a sad function. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, but they can get to a report. Mm -hmm. Sure. So any other questions? I, I mean, the one question, I mean, is the summer all ours? I mean, I just don't The agreement know. says the scheduling primarily during the school year would be deal with and primary in the summer would be the park board. That's what the That's agreement That's helpful. Said. I've never and heard that. That was probably, Commissioner Breland, from the, I'd given you an earlier, earlier draft. This last one says the use should be approximately equal and that the school years, it's primarily dual cells to schedule. The summer, it's primarily the park board. There would be a joint board consisted of appointees by the superintendent and the headmaster at dual cell, and that joint board would do the scheduling by mutual agreement. Yeah. Can I follow up just on that? Um, the position that you Presumably during the football season, does Dale still have a girls football team? Not yet. Soccer. Okay, so it's primarily boys. We're working on girls football team right now. And then during the summer months, uh, just for staff, like if, if we can get some scheduling for this, what what types of activities would be on the football field? Because park board, I remember back to my flag football days. We played in the crisp autumn. We played in October and November, and it doesn't sound like with the use availability that the park board football type programs would be able to really access that field. Well, it's 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 soccer. So it would be predominantly soccer and yes. football. And then what about the summer months? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> summer months would be soccer. And that's <coughs> like a, I, I, my kids were just starting all those. And we didn't play soccer back in the 70s. Well. So our, our it hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> Will be predominantly soccer <coughs> programs, yeah. and that do we have? Is there? Is there? Presumably, the, the park programs that will be used there will be predominantly kids in that part of town, in the way that neighborhood parks. No, uh, not, 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 not exclusively. Kids from all over the city. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be a really nice yeah. facility, yeah. just like the Neiman complex. Yeah. Kids from all over the city benefit from that. We believe that we can provide plenty of benefit to the kids of the city at the Beale South Center as well so it'll be from everybody and then my only main other main question i know we're running out of time is to kind of get my brain wrapped around the procedure here as we move forward i know commissioner young has talked about what what the sort of hurry up to approve this rua from our standpoint is because it's my understanding there are lots of other agencies whether it's met council heritage preservation commission city of minneapolis I don't know who else has to weigh on this. What is going to happen over the next month?
on and how much of their information, it seems to me prudent that we as a body take in as much outside information on this as we possibly can. And what is uh, set in stone about the March decision? If somebody could just explain to me how this works and who's also going to weigh in on this and what other factors we need to be looking at and thinking about. Sure, I asked for the dates that, that this session be held today, the, uh, February 15th, uh, the committee action, and then March 1st, April 4th. So that was, that was you know, what I had asked staff to put together by attorneys. Uh, well, we've been working on this issue for quite a long time now. And it's, it's just getting to a point where we've got to keep moving forward, and they do have to go to a lot of other agencies. They will have to go to that council, but I think it would be unfair to send them out to the Met Council and say, well, we want to do this in Inkland Island, and they just, well, do you have a, a reciprocal use agreement or agreement with Park Board? Well, no. Well, go back and get it, and then come back and see this. And I'm sure that's, I mean, are you sure? I mean, I'm new at this. Yeah, I'm, think, I'm, I'm I putting think that's my name okay. right out there. So you know, like, well, with it's with like, the Met Council having the original agreement, they wouldn't be one of the first people that would weigh in on it? No, they would want to know that, that and I talked to you know, the Met Council folks that, that they have an agreement that they can bring to the Met Council. And the Met Council, I'm sure, will want to review the agreement that we made and then make a decision based on that, whether or not to let them proceed or not. So I think it's only appropriate that they would have something in the end to bring to the Met Council. So I think with regard to what you're asking about, too, with some of the other approvals, it's a little bit of a domino effect. If we put this thing off six months yeah. from there, everything goes off six months. Yeah. So, they probably don't and have that kind of a schedule. Kind of yeah. And I think the important thing is that everything that we do is still subject to, you know, if, if for instance, there are some approval up the line that doesn't happen, then, then we're still subject to that. Then not have, they, they are still, we would not be able to, or that, um, <coughs> we're subject to any of the other approvals. So if, some other board, and that council doesn't approve it, then it doesn't matter that we just do it. it goes so I guess a broader question, what other agencies are involved? We have that council, we have city council with some HPC prior approval for the closure of the road and the fact that it is in a, a historic district. Planning, well planning and HPC would come before city, a city council action, right? Okay. Well, who else? So we've got Met Council and City Council. You probably will need the State Department Finance to give a release. They have a restriction on it. Because but that's of kind of the Council. Met Council and, yes. and over but I think there's the probably two, two separate approvals there the Met Council and State. And, and I would say at that level, you'll probably also run into this constitutional issue. I'm sure the Met Council lawyers and the State Attorney General's office ultimately will probably weigh in on whether this is uh, somehow an aid to a uh, secretary. And school. how about SHIPO? Is SHIPO involved? I don't think SHIPO would be directly. They, they could be part so of the ABC process. Heritage. Well, they just they heard the yeah. comment, yeah. but they're not governing. That's right. Would be able to say no, this project but, but my question is, okay, but that's my question then, is how much of this information, I, I understand sort of the sequence, well, I'm trying to understand the sequencing of this. You know, it might be useful, I mean, if the HPC is going to say this is an historic road and an historic district and the St. Anthony Falls Heritage Board has some pretty strong reservations about it. I personally think that should be part of our decision-making process. So I'm, in my own mind, trying to figure out, make sure we don't put the cart before the horse, and how much is us putting the cart before the horse influencing them and vice versa. And I, I want this to be as open and logical a discussion that I want. And I understand the sort of tug and pull of time limits and so on, but I want to make sure that we as a body, as a policy body, have as much information in terms of the impact on the district as a historic district the river, the environmental impacts, the neighbors, the, the students and um, constituents at the school, <coughs> you know, all of these things, the city of Minneapolis, open space, Met Council, state, and certain well, I mean, it's very complicated to me. All yeah. those agencies, I mean, this information has been a, a lot of it for, for over a year, and a lot of those agencies have already commented on it. They are not aware of the project going on, and they're living in another state. 